in 2017, I met this this handsome young gentleman named Alex Ramosi. And at the time, he was selling his marketing system to gym owners. And I had a gym. And we were a match made in heaven because I really needed customers. And he had this system that really, really worked well. And up to that point, I had I had been in business. I started my business in 2013. And I had gained 36 customers. My business was doing $5,000 a month. And I'd been doing that for three and a half years. And when I met Alex, he's like, I have this marketing system that I could fill your gym up in 30 days. And I said, prove it. He said, give me $10,000. I said, <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's all I have. He's like, give it to me. I was like, okay. I gave him $10,000. And 30 days later, I made $50,000. And the rest of that year, 2017, I made $350,000, right? I made more in probably three months than I had made my entire three and a half years. And it was all because I had access to this money printing machine. It was an end-to-end -end marketing system. And so I ran that from 2017 all the way till we got out of the fitness industry, which was in April of 2022. And... When we started our, our cleaning business in October of 2020, I was like, I wonder if this marketing system that worked so well in this fitness business, if it would work in a cleaning business. And so I took the framework from there and I applied it to a cleaning business. And how we launched our cleaning business is I created a funnel, which again, if you guys want to see what a funnel is, you're not sure what a funnel is or what a, what our funnel looks like, you can just go to one of those, those ad training that are on YouTube for free, where I build a Facebook ad from scratch, you'll see my funnel on there. And I built our funnel for our cleaning business. And that's how we're running Facebook ads, which we're going to show you guys those ads today. And on October 19th, 2020, we got our first lead. And that's how our business started. I had never cleaned a house before. Neither had my wife. We had no SOPs for cleaning. Uh, I took my script that I used to sell weight loss and I literally just like scratched out the part where I said, lose weight and say, I'll clean your home. And um, we started selling. We started we, we started taking action. And in the first year of 2020, uh, it was October, we made $6,700 and something dollars of total revenue for all of 2020. Right. But in 2021, we did like $170,000, which respectable, nothing crazy. 2022, we did $438,000. About We almost tripled our business, which was great. And then so far in 2023, we've done $1.1 million. And a big reason is because we have this money printing machine that our marketing has never been a constraint in our business. And it has given us the opportunity to be able to put attention on our constraints, which for a long time was cleaning. Okay. We knew nothing about cleaning for a very long time. We had to bridge that gap. And then once we understood how to clean, then our constraint became cleaners as in multiple, as in how do you hire them? How do you retain them? How do you keep them? And so that has been a major focus that uh, we've been able to attack because our marketing system has not been, our, has not been a constraint. And so understand that a lot of you guys probably have a similar problem in your business that you have a constraint with cleaners, but your confidence to hire cleaners and hire them aggressively and fast is going to come down to your confidence or your like ability to actually have a money printing machine. And so even if you don't have that problem right now, you, you need this speaking specifically to Neri and everybody else who's like, who's, who's maybe a smaller team or maybe you're still cleaning, is that your ticket out of cleaning is a money printing machine. That's what you need. You need to be able to consistently generate leads. And then when you have a lead, there's a whole nother step that, that we'll get into. But when you have leads that are saying, hey, I'm interested in your service, that makes you feel really good. And when you can rely, when you can rely on them consistently do that, then you have a business, okay? And so that's what we're gonna go over today is money printing machine. We're gonna go over the optimization of it. You guys excited for that? Cool. Okay. So optimizing Facebook ads. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut losers. So as 
my mentor and good friend, Dr. Cashew, you say, we got to define what is a loser, okay? So a loser is an ad that reaches a thousand impressions plus meets two of the following criteria. It's below a cost per lead standard. That's what CPL stands for. So let me just actually do this because I want to make this cost per lead, okay? It's below a CPC standard, which is cost per click, okay? And a CPM standard, which is cost per 1,000 impressions. Okay, so it's okay if you don't know what those terms mean exactly today, sometimes. Um, this might be the first time you've heard some of these terms. It's okay. okay. We're gonna talk about these a lot today. Now, what is the standard? And so the standard, Have you ever had somebody say, what is a lot of money? Have you ever asked, have you ever asked a child what a lot of money is? Any you guys have kids or, or been around kids? If you were talking to a 10 year old kid, how much do you guys think that they would say is a lot of money to them? Put it in the chat. How much is a lot of money to a 10 year old kid? Now, if you asked a 18 year old kid, let's say 19, so they're just out of school, how much is a lot of money to a 19 year old kid? Yeah. I want you guys to think about your guys' lives. Like, how much do you think is a lot of money right now? And do you remember a time when? you thought that a lot less was a lot more, right? Now, I want you to use a different frame. Think about it for somebody else. Think about it. How much do you think I think is a lot of money? Now, now let's, now let's project on the people. How much do you guys think that I think is a lot of money? How much do you guys think that, how much is a lot of money to, Alex Hermosi. Okay. So understanding that concept, if you understand, by understanding that concept, you understand that a standard is only a standard based on what someone has done up to this point. Like how much money, a lot of money to a 10 year old kid, to a 19 year old kid, to you, to me, to Alex, like all those standards are dependent on where we've came from. Does that make sense? So the, the best way for you to figure out what your standard is in this specific case for your CPL, CPC, CPMs is your information, your data. That's the best, okay? So some of you guys who have that data, have the information, you will find your standards by using your data. Okay. Now, some of you guys don't have data and you're like, I want to start running Facebook ads. And so then at that point, you can use somebody else's data. You can use their standard as somewhat of a North Star. And you basically use their North Star just long enough till you have enough data so that you can use your own data to create your own North Star. So when someone asks, what should my cost per lead be? Do you understand why sometimes I'm just like, I get, I get, I can't give you an answer. I can't give you an answer. It'd be like saying, how much, how much is a lot of money to you? Right? So these, these marketing metrics right here. So when, when you guys get the access to the stock, you'll be able to click on this 2023 marketing metrics and you guys will see our data. Okay. And so you'll be able to see that our metrics for 2023, we track, and you can see our averages here that our cost per lead, we're averaging $57 a lead. Our CPMs are $23.77 per thousand eyeballs. We get 363 link clicks on average per month. And our cost per click is $8.55, right? So when I say below standard, 
when I go into my Facebook ads, I'm just going to see um, has our ad reached a thousand impressions and does it meet two of these three criteria? Okay, now I'll get in there so you guys actually can see what these numbers look like inside the, the ad account, but I just wanted to clearly define definitions before we get in there. Cool? Okay. So let's go to step number two. Okay, step number two is going to test new ads. So anything that doesn't, that, that hits these criteria, anything that's a loser, we're going to cut it off the team. We got to cut off losers so we bring in room for winners. And so step number two is simply going to put out five potential winners. When people say, what is a good ad? What works? Similar to the like, how much is a lot of money question? It's like, I do not know. What have you done? Okay. It's ultimately like what, even the best marketers in the world, how do they become the best? It's not because they see the best ads. It's because they put the most ads out there and volume is the answer. And so by putting a, vo by putting a volume out there, you can test to see what works. And then you know what? You cut the losers and you keep the winners. And all of a sudden you look really, really smart, but volume is how you look really smart. Okay. And so to put a number, a number on this arbitrary number, I'm putting five. Can you do six? Can you do seven? Can you do eight new ads? Yes. It's just like how much, how much effort do you want to put into this? That's all. Okay. But at least five ads is like a bare minimum. Okay. Okay. And the variables that we're going to test. So I want to try to keep this as simple as possible. These are the things that I actually do. I'm not giving you theory. I'm not giving you like what you should do. You guys can, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm just telling you what I do. So the things that I test is I test the videos and pictures. When it comes to the ad, I test videos and pictures. That's like the number one thing. If I leave everything else the same, then I will test videos and pictures. That's number one priority. The number two priority is gonna be the headline. So specifically for, for me, the headline is just a, I changed the wrapper on it. So it's always a free cleaning voucher, but then it's a, a free December cleaning voucher. It's a free back to school cleaning voucher. It's a free clean, a clean by Halloween voucher, right? But that's the headline. So I'll change that. And then the next thing is the ad copy. Those are the only three variables that I change. Okay. So again, if you're not sure, headline, ad copy, you know, picture exactly those things mean, I will walk you through examples of all those things, but I'm just trying to give you the brief overview before we actually dive into the actual Facebook ads account. And then it looks like, uh, like, a, like a foreign place if you've never been inside it before. Okay. So those are the three variables I test. Okay. Now the next common question that people ask is like, how often do you check your ads? And so I, I thought a lot about this because right now I check it right about here because it's a low priority for me. But I remember when it was a high priority. Back when I had a had a gym, I was changing. Uh, I was testing ads almost every day, every other day, sometimes. So it was a high priority. Okay. If it's if it's a, a it was the highest priority, right? That was the biggest that was the biggest constraint in our business was marketing. So I put my attention on that every single day. Now, if it's a high priority, maybe do it twice a week. If it's just a priority, maybe do it weekly. If it's a low priority, do it bi-weekly. If it's the lowest priority, you do it monthly. Because remember, our goal is not to be an expert marketer. Our goal is to be a good enough marketer that it is not the constraint of our business. Hopefully that makes sense. And the same thing I'm, I'm saying to marketing, it's the same thing for every other function in your business, which also includes cleaning. For any of you guys who, are like, who want to be expert cleaners, cool, it's fine. But the more energy you put on that is the less that you're putting energy on marketing and sales and hiring and recruiting. Those are other things that your business needs. So you need to be good enough. And so a lot of times what I've seen is that when you become really good at something, you don't want to let it go. And you, you put your focus on it because like, it makes you feel confident and it keeps you distracted from doing the thing that you need to focus on, which is the thing that you probably suck at, which is, which is totally fair. Just understand that if you want your business to grow, it's like, it's only going to grow up to the weakest part, to the weakest section of your business. Okay. So this is the frequency. Okay. 
And then budget. How much should you spend? Okay. I thought about this a lot too. And so as much lead flow as necessary to keep cleaner schedules full. That's how I think about it. Like I'm just, I'll spend as much as necessary to make sure that my cleaners have a full schedule. Now, on the other side of the equation, I also think that if I'm, when I'm talking to Nettie and I'm talking to Michael Hall specifically, he's the one who like, I thought of, I, I thought through this when I was, I was making this, I would not spend any less than $50 per day. Because if I look at my CPMs, which our CBMs, if you guys remember this, CPM is a cost per thousand impressions. It's about $23. So I like to spend um, at least that, but try to get 2,000 impressions per day so I can just test faster. Okay. So at fifty dollars per day, then I would actually I would actually get 2,000 views per day. Right, because I'm because uh, I'm, I'm spending about twenty three dollars to get a thousand eyeballs. So if I spend fifty dollars, I get about two thousand, which means I'm able to test things faster. I'll find winners quicker. Actually, I'll find losers quicker, which allows the winners to come to the surface. So it's more you're looking for losers than you're looking for winners. Cool. Okay, this one right here. Things that I never test that I see most people do. And this has been since day one. This is back when I when Alex gave me these this this marketing machine, um, the offer. Like I've always just ran the offer. So back then it was a free six week challenge. Now it's a free cleaning voucher. Is there other offers out there? Yes, there is. Is there any better that are that that work that ha that that will get a lower lead cost, get a, the castle wider net? than a free cleaning voucher or than a free six-week challenge. Never seen one. What's that? So I, I will do what is best for the business. I will run the free cleaning voucher. So I don't change the offer. I've ran the same offer since October 2020 in the same little town of 50,000 people in Bozeman, Montana. And it still works. Cool. Another thing that people test that I never do is a landing page. It's the same thing. It's just, I have the same philosophy on it as I do with, as like, as like in for micro example, as I do the macro of the business, like the landing page is not the constraint that I'm not going to try to focus. Like there's so many variables you can change a landing page that the simple things that you need on a landing page is that you need congruency from ad to landing page. So, if your if your offer on your ad says free cleaning voucher, on your landing page it should say free cleaning voucher. That's pretty much it. Like you should have a button that as soon as they click on the landing page they can click the button and they can give you their information right away. They they shouldn't have to scroll. It should be a, what's called above the fold. And if you hit that, if you hit this, if you have a free cleaning voucher. And you put a button that people want to like, all they got to do is as soon as they hit the landing page, they click the button says free cleaning voucher and they can put their first name, last name, email, and phone number. And that's it. And it says claim a free cleaning voucher. If you just like, if you just do those things, your landing page will convert good enough. That's it. So I never test my landing page. And so much so that I was showing my new landing page to somebody the other day and I had used AI to generate some of the ads. And there was a, there was, so first off, if you guys have never used AI to generate images, for some reason, it just totally distorts faces. Like I, like it just, it makes some really interesting faces. It, it like messes faces up. It's crazy. And so I didn't see this. I was, it was pointed out to me that this, this AI image I had, I had, generated, there was a, a third ear growing on the neck of this woman. And there's also a hand there as well. Um, which is, that's so funny. It was an alien, yeah. Um, and so when it, when it was pointed out to me, I just laughed. And it's still there, by the way, because I just forgot to change it. Maybe I will change it, maybe I won't, I don't care. It still converts. So I have an, I have an alien on my landing page that still converts because I have the basics, which is, the same offer for my ad, 
to my landing page is the same. Free cleaning voucher. When they click over there, they see free cleaning voucher. And they click it and they give four pieces of information. These are the only four pieces of information you want to ask for. Don't ask for their email address or don't excuse me. Don't ask for their home address. Don't ask for how big their home is. Don't ask for how many bedrooms and bathrooms. Get their phone number, get their name and their email. That's it. And that's, if you're doing the math, that's that's three things, but it's just their first name and last name and email and phone number. Okay, Those, that's all you need. Because so the point of marketing, as Alex would say, is to get an engaged lead. An engaged lead is somebody who you can contact. That's it. You're not trying to get a customer. You're not trying to make a sale. You're not trying to get a recurring client. You're just trying to get an engaged lead. So that's this is a process that we're trying to get to that point. But like, this is the point of marketing. We just need to get an engaged lead. I want to. I want Nettie to go through my funnel. So I can send her a text message and I, then I can ask her more questions after that. Or I, I get her on a phone call and I can ask her what her problem is so I can help solve it. But until she gives me her phone number and her name and her email, like nothing else matters. So that's the focus. When you make that the focus, it becomes really simple. Okay. And then the next thing, the mousetrap. So this is the most common question I get specifically with the free clean voucher is the mousetrap. So on here, I put on how we use the free cleaning voucher, which I think I already saw in the chat a little bit. But if you click on this doc right here, it explains how we use the free cleaning voucher. And so there's different ways you can use it. You literally you can use it however you want to use it. Okay. But again, this is all on here. Choose your thing. How we currently use it is with a free cleaning voucher is good for one hour of cleaning for an a la carte service, minimum of four hours. That's it. It's really simple. Right? Or they can use, they can get a one free hour on their first recurring service. It's not to be used for deep cleans, vacation rentals, or move in and move out cleans. This is the key. Choose how you want to fulfill it. Okay. So it's important to you know the whole sequence, but ultimately, um, this is literally how my brain thinks when I'm optimizing for Facebook ads. Okay. And so regardless if I'm running a, a video or a picture, it doesn't change the offer. Doesn't matter if I'm if I running a Thanksgiving free cleaning voucher or a Christmas cleaning voucher or I'm running a New Year's cleaning voucher or running a Valentine's Day cleaning voucher. It doesn't change any of this. This all stays the same. Okay. Okay. Helpful so far. Let me see in the chat. Let me see in the chat. This is helpful because now we're about to dive in to the actual ad account. And I think I saw my wife Katie on here. This is this is fun. So Katie made a great point the other day. So as I as I as I actually watch you guys, see you guys engage, I really do appreciate it. Um, Katie made a good point to me. I, I think it was either yesterday or the night before, and it was in reference to uh, me talking about how I was like I'm like I had this vision of how to solve marketing as a problem for all clean business owners, right? And she was like, I think it's actually the reason that I myself, so I'm speaking as Katie now, she's like, I think it's the reason that I have been as successful as I have with being able to personally develop, personally grow and be able to pour into the team is because I haven't had, I haven't had to learn marketing. I haven't had to learn and um, had to try to figure out how to do sales. She got to focus on being a communicator to clients, to cleaners, and really just herself, like the self-talk up here. And so a lot of this is bandwidth. And so, again, the goal for you guys is to be able to make you good enough where you can do this on you can make this into a habit where it takes little bandwidth, little attention. So you have the attention to be able to become an effective communicator. Maybe that's communicating to clients. Maybe it's communicating to cleaners. Maybe it's communicating to admin. This is a communication game. When you understand, when you understand that, that the people who, who, who communicate the best are the ones who get the outsized returns. And 
if you can learn that skill in cleaning, like you can apply it to any business. But since you guys all have cleaning businesses, you might as well apply it to this one. Cool. Okay. So let's dive in here. Remind me, I'm going to give you guys this, this Google Doc so you guys have access to this. Uh, and then we guys can have an SOP that you guys can go into when you guys forget everything I just said and you go back and watch the recording, you have this doc and you can practice because everything that you're doing here is going to be a skill and the better you, and how you get better at something is you just do more of it. Volume. Volume is always the answer. Cool. James just dropped it in the chat for you guys. Okay. So let's go into our Facebook ads manager. So this is our Facebook ads manager. This is one of our ad accounts. Actually, this is like a newer account. I think I created this one in, looks like it was in June I created this one. So I've, I have I have lots of accounts. The biggest reason why is because specifically when we had, we had, when we had the gym, um, I would just get, I would get banned a lot of times. Uh, I, I would have a lot of accounts get banned. Um, fitness is much more difficult to market than cleaning is. You can't do before and afters. You can't talk about weight loss. You can't talk about fat. You can't like, it's very hard to market fitness. And so when I, when I, when, when cleaning came around, I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is really easy. <laughs> it's like swimming against the current for a long time. All of a sudden I feel like I have the current behind me. I'm like, I, I feel like I'm a fast swimmer. So with that being said, you guys, most of you guys don't realize how easy you have it, uh, which is totally fine. It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't, I think that it doesn't matter, but there's less challenges in a cleaning business for marketing than there is in, in other businesses. Something as simple as being able to actually say that, you're going to give someone a sparkling clean home without lifting a finger. Like you can't tell people that you can help them lose 25 pounds and then you can help them trim their belly fat or get rid of their love handles or get rid of the cellulite. Like you can't say any of that stuff. You, it's just, we got it pretty good. Let's just say that. Okay. <laughs> so this is the inside of the meta of the meta Facebook ads campaign manager. So just so you know, like when you walk, when you log in, yours might look different. There's like 50 different versions of this because uh, Facebook is always testing themselves. They're testing different dashboards, different looks. Um, they're using us as their little test dummy. So just so you know, if you're watching this replay or you log into your things right now, like it might actually look different. That's actually very common, okay? So um, again, we're not gonna go into the building of this. If you want that, that's a whole different, that's a whole different training, but I'm just gonna show you how to optimize it. So the way I have our setup is, our campaign right here. So if we click on our, our campaign. I just set this up last week because we have a new landing page. So actually I, I set this up from scratch the other day. Uh, you can see here, our budget is a hundred dollars. Um, I'm actually going to increase that here in a minute, but that's, I'm gonna do that afterwards. Um, and so what I'm gonna show you guys here is what I'm going to test. So again, I'm not going to test anything in the ad set level. So sometimes I should put this in here too. What people will sometimes test that I do that I never test is um, they'll test. Okay, so this this would be something that I will put as a like one of these here asterisk because I live in a small town. Now, if we were here to market in Mesa, which is a town of which is a town which is a city of four million people, we're definitely going to test different locations, different zip codes, different things like that. So I'm going to say that with a little asterisk that like we don't test things, but so if you're like you're in a small market or you don't, if you're less than, I would say 200,000 people, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. But if you're like in a, in a metropolis, we have 200,000 plus, you might test locations. Okay. Um, another things that I don't test is I don't test gender, which I did in fitness. I don't test age. I just have 35 plus. So these are all the things that again, you technically could test um, and then interests and behaviors. Um, and so again, these are all things you possibly could test. I just think that there's so much attention that goes into all these things that if you just did the first three things, which I'll show you today, um, your, your probability of winning is much higher. Okay. So let's click on one of these ads here. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ads that are currently are being, are being ran. So I'll just show you quickly what one looks like. So actually bought these these videos from someone inside the group. So someone who came out to Deccan today, her name is Adi. E. I've always seen her videos. I'm like, man, I just, I'm just curious if they'll work. So I end up, 
end up buying some videos from her just to see if, if they would if they would work for us. Um, but let me scroll down here. Okay. Okay, cool. So, so when you come in here, you'll see that you can put your text in here. And so Facebook actually allows you to do multiple text, which is nice. So you actually can test multiple things at the same time. Um, headline, description, call to action. Again, these things, I just keep the same. They're always, they're always just, they're always the same. Okay. But those are basically the only variables you can change on as far as the ad is concerned. So if we make this bigger, so you can change your primary text, which is this right here. Cool. So this is the primary text right here. The headline is right here. The subheadline is right here, and the call to action is right there. Okay. So those are really the only things that you can that you can play with on on your Facebook ads. Uh, again, the, the thing that I test is we go back to optimizing ads. We're going to test the videos, pictures, headline, ad copy. Okay. So so the number one thing that we're going to do is we're going to test the videos and pictures okay now before we get in there to testing new things what's the first thing we get that that we need to do we need to find some losers okay we look for losers we're looking for winners right now we're looking for losers so let's look for some losers here so if we come over here to our columns go performance and clicks and then we need to put our right a right date on here. So obviously I uh, didn't have the right date on here. So you can go last seven days, you can go last 14 days. So I started this um, this ad on the sixth. So that's been, yeah, let's just go 14 days. Okay. Da -da -da. So let's sort this by ones that are on. Cool. Let's show this why it's on. Okay. So if we come back in here, optimizing ads. So the first thing we need to figure out is as they reached a thousand impressions. So if they haven't reached a thousand impressions, I'm not going to determine them a loser because they just haven't got enough reach yet for uh, us to determine if they're a loser or not. Right. It's like it's like it's like having a kid on the bench of a, of a basketball team, and you, you like you don't even know if he can perform because he hasn't been on the because he hasn't been on the court yet. So. We, you got to give people an opportunity to get on the court to actually see if they score. And if they don't score, then we can kick them off the team. But until then, leave them on the bench. All right, I'm going to get rid of some of these tabs here. Okay, so let's find our, our impressions here. Okay, so we have 1977, 1,000. So Let's see. So these two are the only ones who haven't that haven't reached a thousand, which means that these are the only two that we're not going to turn off no matter what, because they just haven't got enough love yet. Uh, but it looks like everything else has has reached that a thousand pressure mark. So everything else is good to go. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at CPL first. That's like the next highest thing. Is that are they below our CPL standard? So what is our CPL standard? Pull this back up again. I believe it was fifty six dollars a lead. It's fifty seven dollars a lead. Okay. So let's look at here our cost per lead. So this one hasn't got any leads. Let's see this one right here. This one's at $61 a lead. 76, 138, 31, 46. So let's turn off some losers here. So this one right here, this one hasn't got any leads yet. And it's been over a thousand impressions. So we're gonna turn this one off. Okay, so this one's gonna be one of the losers that we turn off. Okay. Right here, this one's at $76 a lead, but it's also generated us two leads. It's got 5,000 impressions. Well, I'll leave that one on for right now. Uh, 42. Yeah, this one's at $138 a lead. So we're going to turn this one off for sure. This one's at this one's at 46. So we'll keep that one on for right now. This one's at 31. We'll keep that one on. This one's at 61. It's right above our thing, but I'm actually going to keep it on for right now. And this one's at 76. It's given us two leads. 
yeah, we'll, we'll turn this one off as well. It's much higher than our, our CPM, or excuse me, our, our cost per lead standard. Okay, so that cut out a few just by doing that. Um, and then CPC, cost per click, and then CPM. Um, so now let's let's look at these. So cost per link click, $8.55. So let's go find some over here. Okay, so this one is at 11.18. So this is the only one that's above our, our CPC. Let's look at it again. Oh, this one hasn't, uh, this one hasn't reached the thousand impressions yet. So leave that one alone. And then what's our CPM standard? CPM standard right here is 23.77. There. So if we go over here to 23.77, let's see our CPMs, um, 25, 29, 29, 39, 31. Yeah, so they're all, it's all above it, but uh, I've, I take, I, I technically like, so if we come back here to this data, I think we had, yeah, June and August, where we had like really lows, like 1920s. Um, but you know, the last couple months, 28, 28, 24. Yeah, so these CPMs are higher right now. So this is something that I told my team on Monday during our vision meeting. Like right now, you're going to get the highest CPMs because all of the e-commerce businesses, actually just, just businesses in general, that have that are products, they are unloading half of their ad budget for the entire year of 2023 right now, between now and Christmas. So right now is the most expensive time that you can ever market on Facebook. It's happened in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Actually, 2020 was really weird. 2020 was actually in a great time to advertise because people were very scared and scared money just sits and just like it's patient and not patient, it's just it's scared. And so Lead costs actually went down in 2020 because people were afraid, uh, which was great for people who, who continued to market. 2021 more expensive. 2022 crazy, and then 2023 it's 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 following suit as we're as we're seeing here that our CPMs are much higher. So that's also something we that we need to account for in this specific situation, which I am going to account for it. Um, and so just understanding that our CPMs right now are going to be a little more expensive, and this one is the highest one at 39, but it also hasn't reached a thousand, and so this 31. I'm gonna look at this one again to determine if it's if it's really a loser. Cost per click is 281. It's like the best cost per click, but the highest CPM, which means that it's expensive to show it, but people are actually clicking on it and it's got a lead right now, but it's at 61. Yeah, I'm actually gonna turn it off. So it is it's higher than our than our standard cost per result. And our CPM is high, but the cost per click on it is actually pretty good. Right, but it's only got one lead. So we're gonna turn it off. And that's gonna leave us with how many ads? Leave us with four ads that are just not losers. <laughs> right? They're just not losers. So okay, let's just double check everything. So those CPMs are all in the 20s, except this one, this one just have enough reach yet. These two don't have enough reach. Um, cost per click. Cool. Okay. So let me go in the chat here. Sweet. Okay. Put in the chat, guys. If this so far is making sense. So before I move on to um to testing the new ads, do the new creative. What doesn't make sense? Please, please be as uh, as transparent as possible. That way, I can. Awesome. So, someone asked in the chat. Um, they're confused on how I came to determine these standards over time. It's great. 
these standards came from my actual data, right? So I'm basing all this based on our data. That's it. And so I don't know if you were here earlier for the, um, when I explained the difference between like what somebody thinks a lot of money is. Here's, here's another example too, right? With, with the new year coming around, and we were in the fitness business for a very long time. This is always a time of year that people are looking to get in better shape, right? Lose that holiday 10, 15, 20 pounds that they've had this year, but also last year and the year before and the year before that and the year before that. You know, maybe it's 20, 30, 40 pounds by now, right? And so the question, a very similar question I would give us in the fitness industry, well, how much should I be eating? How much should I be working out? So, I don't know. I don't know those answers. How much have you been eating up to this point? How much have you been working out to this point? Show me your data. And as you guys could probably imagine, like nobody tracks how much food they put in their body. Nobody tracks their output, their activity. And so it becomes very difficult to help somebody when we don't have data to choose from. So what we do a lot of times, we just make things up or we just like start taking action. Fair. Okay. So to answer your question, Tessa, is that these standards are averages, as you can see right here, of our personal data. These, these are our data from 2023. So we use those as our standards. And our goal is just to get better than them, to beat them. That's it. Because ultimately, like our marketing is our marketing. And like marketing in Bosa, Montana is, is going to look a little bit different than marketing in Mesa, Arizona. So Logan, did you have standards before you had data? No. Like you, I mean, you can have like you, you can you can desire for what ten dollar leads if you want, but if your market doesn't like based on the fact that you're getting a a a a tested material from the standpoint of ads, landing page and copy and everything else that's involved like it, it works good enough to know that like like we said that works good enough we have our data from 2022 2021 a little bit of 2020 as well and what you'll see is you'll see the steady increase in advertising and that's because advertising costs are very similar to like prices of milk prices of food at grocery stores like it goes up right? marketing costs always go up And so ultimately, like you can say, I want $10 leads, but the best thing you can do, it would be the same advice I would give you if you're trying to lose weight is like, step on the scale. Let me see how much you weigh right now and use that as a standard, right? But instead of having just your weight as your standard, having one thing, we have six things on here. And then using these six things, your goal is to make progress on it, get better than it. That's it. Yeah. So, so Kenyon, your, your question, if you go back to your optimizing Facebook ads, this is my standard is that each ad must reach at least a thousand impressions. Okay. So if we go back here, I didn't cut, I didn't cut these two, these two ads right here because they haven't reached a thousand impressions yet. Okay. So they must reach a thousand impressions and they must meet I put two, I put two on here, but sometimes it just needs to meet one if it's if it's drastic. That but if it meet if it's if there's two of these if there's two um if it's below the standard on two of these three things, then it becomes a loser. Okay. Okay. So that's how we cut losers. Okay. And it, it's easier to cut losers when you're constantly making new ads. It's like, it's fine. Like there's another group coming in. Now, the goal that you have with winners is sometimes you'll find winners and you find ones that stick. And so this, this batch that I put out right now, like it was a total, like, I have no idea. So it was actually very similar to what a lot of you guys might do. It's just like, you're just going to throw things out there and you have no idea. So like I saw Audie, who was someone who I, I love. And I just loved her videos. I'm just like, I was just like, the curiosity was, was, was killing me. I was like, I wonder if those ads are actually going to work. 
And so I, I just, I bought some videos from her and I tested them out and that's the results we got. I have no idea, right? Now, I went through and I made five new ads for this week, but this time I cheated, right? I cheated because I used ads that I knew performed very, very well. In fact, if you look here, we, you can see where these ads were turned on. They were in August and September. And I gave this ad to Nick White, who's in here as well. He's someone who, who came out to Decade Today and he used these ads uh, and they were crushing his market. And um, yeah, so like this ad that I'm, that I'm gonna test this week, I know works. Now, here's what I did. So I made it fresh, okay? Is now I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go find it here. So bear with me guys, I'm gonna go find this this ad, this, these ads. Oh, actually, you know what I did? I put them in here already, that's what I did. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Now I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna click on this and I believe I made five of these. So right now is where you would pause the video. If you haven't created new ads, you would go create five new ads. Now, for the sake of this training, I already created the ads yesterday. Um, you know, this, this is where some of the time comes in. This is where uh, it takes a little bit of effort. Uh, but I spent probably half hour to an hour and I created these ads, okay? So press play again. And then now, you, now you've created your, your new ads you're gonna test. Here's how you put them in, okay? So I'm gonna take um, any of these really. I'm gonna come right here. I'm just going to go quickly duplicate. And I'm gonna do this. I would do it five times, but again, for the sake of, of this training today, just to keep you guys entertained, I'm not gonna do it for all five, but um, so now I'd come in here and I'm gonna change the date on this because today is the 14th. Okay. And so because I'm lazy, I'm only going to change the video because I believe that the headline and the creative and all the I copy is good enough. So I put these in there already. Um, and so we'll use, let's use this one here. Yeah, this one here. Okay, so on this one, this was a this was an ad that crushed for like three months. This ad was a winner, and the one thing I did to test to make because I knew this like I knew this this thing won. But what happens in 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 like how ads get fatigued is that somebody just sees the same thing over and over again, and then it eventually it, it loses it loses its uh, shock factor. It loses its like stop like stop and scroll factor, or stop you from scrolling factor, and so. But I know that this ad, like that the elements of it work. So the only thing I did differently is that it didn't have this little geotag in there. And so I'm testing this now and again, I'm, I'm still testing, but now I'm testing something that worked. So I'm like there's the probability of it working now just with like a, with a different, a different scroll stopper to me is higher because I've already, it's already proven to work one time. So I'm just trying to like take a small vari a, a variation of it and get it to see if it can work again. So if you come through here, um, and you can see here, actually, you guys can't hear this though. So let me stop my share. What the, the other thing I did on this one as well is I put some sound behind it, which again, is something I'm testing. So you guys should be able to hear this. We're looking to dramatically transform your home from top. Oops, oh, share the right screen. Share screen number two, share sound. Okay. So if you guys watch this. The bottom. So here's the deal. We're taking on 15 new clients for a home transformation before Christmas. We're talking about sparkling clean homes without having to lift a finger. Why? Because we're looking for more testimonials. Plus, most people love our service and become customers for life. So you're going to get a top to bottom, thorough clean, fast responsive customer service, guaranteed service, and flexible schedule. So if you want to come home to a sparkling clean home without lifting a finger, click the link below. Let's go. Cool. Could you guys hear that? Kenyon, you're the one I see. Could you hear that? Okay. Cool. So that's me taking a winning ad and, and tweaking it. I put a geotag on there and I added a voiceover behind it. 
Okay, and we're gonna test it. That's all we're gonna do. Okay. Original, original. So we come in here, crop and trim. Let's just see what it gives us options. Yeah, that's fine. So I literally just let Facebook do its thing. Um, Facebook has got really nice that it, like it does all. It basically does all the stuff for you. So um, just leave everything on. Let it let it let it do its thing, and click done. Like this, all this stuff is relatively new. All the AI stuff is relatively new, but uh, I'm a big fan. Okay. So now we have a new creative, one that we know works. And so the next one I'm gonna do is gonna come up here. We created this one. Okay. I'm gonna change this to 14, 23, number two. Okay. Scroll down. Oops, where's my so delete this? Add media, add video. And then I'm gonna do this one. So if you guys look at this one. So now I, I kept the geotag on there. Now let's listen. Want a free cleaning voucher before Christmas? We're looking to dramatically transform your home from top to bottom. So here's the deal. We're taking on 15 new clients for a home transformation before Christmas. We're talking about sparkling clean homes without having to lift a finger. Why? Because we're looking for more testimonials. Plus so on this one, I put in the captions on it, okay? So kept the geotag, kept the voiceover, put captions on there, okay? I'm gonna test this one. So what, what I really want to share here is that if you find something that works, like you're just trying to like find a spin off of it that works. Like you don't need to like go and do like film a brand new video all the time, like you can. You can't look, like, would you know nothing? Sure. When you find something that works, it's like, keep finding ways to tweak that. Right? And, there's, and there's a thousand different ways you can do it. Actually, that's that's something, wish I had um, Alex's like Legion Scrambler, which is like, I could probably go find that again. Um, but basically all the different ways that you can make one piece of creative, make it look different. Okay. But there we go. We just created right there and i'm going to create one more because i think i actually have one more variation of this so i'm going to quickly duplicate this just just to share with you guys like how i like to optimize my ads also without having to like spend a ton of time on doing this that's why i like i did all this in about i don't know at most an hour maybe it's only half hour i remember i haven't clocked in for a while it's, it's been a minute All right, so then I'm coming back here, up here again. I'm going to delete this. Add media, add video. I don't remember which one it was. Let's just see if it was this one. Want a free cleaning voucher before? Let's do the same one. Want a free cleaning bath? Must have just uploaded the same video twice. Um, but one thing I did, so I'll just put this this other one in there. So I'll put I'll show you guys this one. So this one was a ad that did pretty good too. Okay, so if we watch, we watch this one. Let's make this bigger here, I think. Expand. Okay, so so there's there's one variation of this one, and then just for the sake of Hi, I'm just going to delete that for right now. And I'm going to show you the second, the other variation I made of this one. Yeah, so then on this one, I just put the geotag in there. That was it. So I didn't do all the fancy, um, fancy text. I just put a geotag in there. Because again, like this one originally was just this video. So then 
I, I put the geotag in there and like, we're just going to test it. Like, I just like you, you, like, you have no idea. I have no idea. Sometimes the real simple things work. Sometimes the, the more like fancy things work. You just test, you just test, right? Um, let me just see if I have one more here. I thought I had one more version of this. I think one of these actually had, actually had music on one of these, I thought. So what are the chances of people actually listening to your ads? I think it's very low, but sometimes you put it in there. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let me just see this one has sound. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So there we go. So now we have three ads. So if we click on here, we have number one that we just created. Number two. Number three. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna I'll just finish these out. So I'll have to come back and do this later. Sorry. Now you guys, now you guys are on my time. I'm gonna I'm actually going to uh just to finish this out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and do this later. All right, four. All right, so we're gonna delete this. Add video. I think it was this one. Yeah, so so the way that I have the ad set set up is that I just let Facebook pick where where it puts it. So, so maybe it puts on stories, maybe it puts on the on the news feed. Um, yeah, ultimately, I trust Facebook just just to do its best that it can. So, and then we're gonna create one more here. If we duplicate, I want to create five. It. Well, if you guys have questions, go ahead and start lighting up question. As soon as I get done with this, I'm going to answer a couple questions before I move on here. This is going to be number five. Here we go. And then let's look at this one. I essentially had one more video in here. Want a free cleaning voucher before Christmas? Want a free cleaning voucher before Christmas? We're looking to dramatically transform your home from top to bottom. So here's the deal. We're taking on 15 new clients for a home transformation before Christmas. We're talking about sparkling clean homes without having to lift a finger. Why? Because we're looking for more testimonials. Plus, most people love our service and become customers for life. So you're going to get a top to bottom. Throw and this one I added, you guys couldn't hear added some music to this one. So we're gonna try this one out. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, cool. All right. 
Boom, done. Okay, so now we've created five new videos. Okay, just come through here. Uh, it's still uploading, but the one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to I'm gonna up our budget just a little bit. Cool. Cool. Okay, then if you guys go up here to review and publish. So we do have an error on one of these. So it's nice. We'll just go over here and we'll see what this error is. Text or video may be covered by your profile icon. Let's see if that worked. Cool. And quick publish. Okay, so then once once you click publish, it'll it'll um, it'll go to it'll go into review. Yeah, so these are currently processing. So it's basically going to a review process. These are still going. And uh, yeah, and then just check back in. And sometimes the ads will not go through. Most of the time they do go through, but sometimes they won't. You just have to fix the reason why. And other than that, you can do this depending on how high a priority it is. Remember, this is our, this is our doc. So James, will you please drop this again? So again, this is exactly how I think about when I'm going through optimizing ads. Okay. Is that depending on how frequently do you check this, depending on how high a priority is it, is marketing your biggest constraint? Maybe you should check it daily. On the other extreme, if it's your lowest priority, check it less often. Cool. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you, Will. 30 some people. All right. Was that helpful? Put it in the chat if you guys thought that was helpful. Yeah, I did the voiceover. You like, couldn't you tell that handsome voice? Yeah. And all I did was I read the ad copy. Just if you guys are curious, like I just read the ad copy. So instead of someone reading the ad copy, they just read it on the video. Like the chances of them maybe like clicking, clicking the uh, like the the see more button. If they never if they never did that, they at least they could just like read the captions. That's my that's my that's my thought process. It, will it work? I don't know. Facebook will let me know. The mark the market will let me know what wins and what doesn't win, right? And ultimately, like that's like because I've ran so many ads, like I I don't care. I really like my my only goal is for us to have the marketing not be the biggest constraint. That is my number one goal. And so I could care less what works. I just want to find what does work and I will just find ways to continue to get it to work. That's my intention. If it's somebody cleaning, if it's dog pictures, if it is um 
Um, time lapse pictures, if it's voiceovers, if it's funny videos, like I do not care. Like I just want to, I just want to do what works. And also at the same time, doesn't take a ton of time as well, right? Like because we could spend hours and and um, make something really fancy, but how well does it actually work? Who knows? Okay. So again, James dropped that. That adds in the in the chat. So hopefully you guys got some value from that. And we're gonna do we're gonna do some Q and A. So if you guys got some questions, we'll we'll stay down here. We'll do a little bit of Q and A. But before we get on some Q and A, um, so I think Nick White is on here, which is awesome. So Nick Nick White and I came up with a with a with a really fun idea of uh, how to how to create more value in this community and also um, give people who were potentially interested in deck in a day, um, give them a good, a good excuse to like learn more about deck in a day. So if, it, if you guys don't know what deck in a day is like deck in a day is your opportunity that you you can come hang out with Katie and I and everything that is in the masterclass, all the trainings that we're doing right here, especially your opportunity to, for us to do it with you, or in some cases, just do it for you. So, in some decade days, like we've set up people's marketing funnels from end to end before. Uh, with some people's decade days, we've done their recruiting funnel, their hiring funnels up to the, up up to there. Some people, um, we do none of those two things, right? It like decade days are very much a customized experience for whatever it is that whatever constraint you have in your business, right? But what separates decade day from anything else that we've ever done personally? Um, is that it requires a big commitment, right? And so like the masterclass is free, the Facebook group is free, these trainings are free, all the all the videos on YouTube, it's all free, right? As a way to just show you that we know we're talking about to some degree, right? And so some people, they want to shortcut the, the distance they have to travel in order to go from startup, you know, zero, five, 10, maybe $15,000 a month, and they want to grow a million dollar business, right? And so you can, you can, you can open up the closet and try to figure out all the scary monsters for yourself. Or you can just have somebody tell you like what scary monsters to expect when you open up the closet, right? And, and the cheat codes on how to fight them and how to, how to put them to sleep, right? And that's really, what decade day is it's it's how do you how do you take 10 years is what it's how long that i've been in business for and how do you just condense that into a day that, that's the concept of it um and it also requires a big commitment right it requires you to get on a plane fly out to phoenix arizona which is where we're at right now or if you're close you can drive out here and you're going to stay in one of our airbnbs and you're going to spend a whole day with with katie and i and we're going to figure out the problems in your business. We're going to expose them. We're going to explode your blind spots. And it's going to feel both good and bad at the same time. It's going to feel, the bad part is, is that you're going to know exactly the problems you have. The good part is you're going to know exactly how to tackle that. And then the internal dialogue is like, shit. Do I actually want to do the work? Well, transparency. You will know all your problems. And you also will have a plan to be able to solve those problems. Then the next question is, do you actually want to follow through on that plan? Right. But now we have done, I think, 15 of these decade of days. And people like Nick White, Jessica Lucas are on here. Um, I think Cammy's on here. There's a few people on here. Sorry if I'm if I'm missing you. Um that ha I made that commitment and When things get tough, which they inevitably will, like I know those, I can count on those people to continue to show up and to continue to put in the work because they've showed that they're willing to do the hard thing by getting on a plane, spending $10,000, which is how much deck in a day costs, um, and show that they're actually committed to growing their business. That's it. And so if you fall into that category where you want to condense time, and your business is doing less than a million dollars a year, and you want to get to a million dollars a year, um, that's what 
that's what that is for, is to be able to condense that time frame. It, it took us almost 10 years for us to be able to create the asset of being able to build a million dollar business. And now we'll be able to do it way faster, right? Each time, each time goes a bit quicker. And so my goal with that kind of day is for you to be able to get that $10,000, like be able to return that money in less than six months. So like the guarantee I put on deck today is that if you can't make at least $10,000 in additional revenue in, in the next six months, like I will give you the money back. That's how confident I am in the system, right? And I'm also confident in you that you're making the commitment to do it because there's going to be things that you have to do in order to make that happen, right? Um, so you guys ready for the cool offer? So this is something that Nick, Nick White, who is someone who did it again in a day, we got together. And um, one of the one of the first things that we do to, in Decade Today is we do a financial freedom framework. And the financial freedom framework is what gives you clarity to be able to go from where you're at to living the life of your dreams. It's learning the four steps, which is make money, manage money, multiply money, and make money matter. And so you understand like, what is the point of you going through all this work? What is the point of you spending all this energy on growing this asset? What is it for? Is it just for money? Because it, if it's just for money, you'll be severely disappointed. Millions of dollars in your bank account, it doesn't make you happy. What you can do with that money can make you very happy. And when you understand what you're gonna do with that money, now, before you have it, your drive to get it increases. And so a big piece of deck and day is for you to have clarity on what you're gonna do when you have a million dollars in your bank account. Because until you know that, like you will never work hard for it because you have no idea what you're gonna do with it. I promise you. Right. But part of that framework is building, in order for you to be able to have the, the financial freedom is you need a vehicle to be able to do that. The vehicle that we're all in is a cleaning business. And so getting the million dollar cleaning business blueprint customized to you is one of the very first things we do in decade a day. And so Nick White and I were like, for people who are interested in decade a day, why don't we just actually give that to people for free? And so that's what we decided to do. And so if you are interested in decade a day, you wanna talk more about it, James is gonna drop a link and we're going to build you your million dollar cleaning business blueprint absolutely for free, which is one of the very first things we do inside Deck in Your Day. Um, and you actually get to talk with somebody who did Deck in Your Day as well. So Nick White volunteered his time to be able to talk to other people who were interested. So he could just like, you can just actually talk to somebody who's actually done Deck in Your Day. And there's there's zero sales pitch. There's no, like you like you you cannot give Nick White money. Nick White does not accept money. <laughs> um, but Nick White will tell you about Deck in a Day. He will share his experience. He'll give you, he will walk you through your, your million dollar cleaning business blueprint. And if Deck in a Day is something that makes sense for you, then you can have a conversation with, with my wife, Katie, right? And if she thinks that you're potentially good for Deck in a Day, then you can have a conversation with me. So like, there's a long process before you're, you have to actually give money. So if you're scared about giving money, like, bro, we won't take your money. So you, you, you have to earn the right to give us money and it's going through the process. So with, with that being said, if you are at all interested and you want that million dollar cleaning business blueprint um, and you want to hang out with somebody or you want to talk to somebody who's actually done decade day, I don't know if Nick, I don't know if James dropped that link. Cool, yeah. So James just dropped that link in the chat. So the decade day million dollar blueprint call. Yeah, so James, just just drop the the blueprint call. Don't drop don't drop the actual deck in a day um, um, web page link. It'd be much faster. So that way, you guys, if you guys are interested, you guys can fill out a couple questions, and you guys I can book a call with Nick and uh, a twenty minute call, get your blueprint, and go from there. So that, that's that's a way that I convinced Nick White to be able to uh, to be able to talk to you guys. And hopefully, hopefully you guys get value from that. So 